Simcoe hops, Rodego hops, Manchurian Candidate, Galapagos Island, reddish fiery orange skies, the end of the world, 2020, COVID-19, coronavirus, milkshakes, breweries, bitches with beards, holy shit, brewers, multitudes and multitudes of passion, multitudes of <laughs> anger, multitudes of uh, happiness. Oh yeah, who are you? It's, that was one of my favorite who we use of all time because that was grimy. You ever heard of that? Any beer drink, it's beer drink. Here again, Southern Tier Vanilla Whip. You can see it, right? Because I'm hoping that you can't see me because I'm not white. Huh, you gotta rhyme when you do these things. But anyway, Vanilla Whip is a milkshake IPA from Southern Tier Brewing Company. Was actually the home of my favorite India Pale Ale way back. I'm thinking maybe eight years, eight eight nine years ago when i very first started like really venturing out and drinking different types of beer southern tier double india pale ale and southern tier india pale ale was my favorite anyway we got this 6.5 alcohol juiciest smoothiest ipa on the menu southern brewing Co southern tier brewing companies out of lakeland new york I'm not gonna get into all this shit because they wrote three paragraphs on the back of the can uh, the malt brewed with is two two row pale in flake oats, dry hop with citra, mosaic, amarillo, and azacoa, hot side edition, which I could give a fuck about or even know about because I don't brew, milk sugar, cold side addictions, additions, <laughs> vanilla. Anyway, let's go ahead and get straight into this bitch. Poor Don. More carbonated than I expected. A bit hazy. I thought maybe it would be a little more hazy just for the fact that, you know what I'm saying? When you think of milkshake, you think of milk. You know, <laughs> but it is a bit of haze. I mean, you're not seeing through this bitch, that's for sure. Bubble streaming up with light the salmon. Bubbles going away really quick. If you don't believe me, look at that. Look at this shit, man. Look at that shit. It's almost gone already. Holy shit. I can smell it from here. So you already know. I mean, it is what it is. Whenever you get a beer that says vanilla, damn, you should expect vanilla, right? So I'm expecting vanilla, and that's exactly what I'm smelling. Vanilla. Go ahead and put a nose in there. And it's weird, you know what's funny? It doesn't say anything about orange or anything, but it smells like a cream sickle. You know those orange, those orange recta rectangular things with the with the with the vanillas on the bottom of it? The orange cream sickles. That's what it smells exactly like. There's been a few cream sickle beer out there. I'm not gonna name any name, but this one right here smells more like a cream sickle than the cream sickle beers that I actually had. Let's see if it tastes like a dream sickle. <laughs> Ever heard of that? That's real good, but it punches you, man. It's for me, but it may not be for a lot of people. When they boast vanilla milkshake, the vanilla is super fucking uh, 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 asper, asper, it's inspirational in this beer. Like the vanilla punches you in the nose, like for real, for real. And, and, I, 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 whoop, ah! and I was right once again. It does taste very citric. Maybe it is some type of orange pill brewed with the beer. I'm not reading all of that shit. If there is an orange of some type, I wouldn't be surprised because I tasted it in the beer. Real refreshing, and it's not even an acquired taste. Sometimes when people drink beer, they want something. I, it's, it's hard to explain. I put it this: this is a very unorthodox taste in beer. You know what I'm saying? Like pretty much, if you get, if you see the can, you see vanilla whip milkshake IPA. Expect vanilla to whip that ass because that vanilla is fucking really going in on this one i fuck with it hella hard definitely a tasty beer it's for me may not be for you but then again it could be for you you never know but on a scale of zero to five though <laughs> it is what it is i'm gonna just rate i'm gonna rate it something like a 3.75 to a four why not a five because it's a it's hard for me to rate a fruited or kind of themed beer of five because it just kind of, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 once again, can't explain myself for shit. I'll put it this way. I like, I like the rate. Oh my God. Nothing will be rated a five unless it's like a base fucking India Pale Ale. Like just a boom, a IPA, a double IPA. But if it's a milkshake, cool. You know what I'm saying? It could, but as far as flavor of this bitch, it's good, okay? It's almost too much flavor, but I fuck with it hella hard because I like vanilla. For someone that don't, if, if, uh, here we go. If you don't like vanilla, don't buy the beer, okay? Fuck, I'm stumbling over my words. You don't like vanilla. Why didn't you just click off the video? Stop looking at the video, God. Okay, so some of you like vanilla. 
So get it if you like vanilla, get it. If you don't like vanilla, don't get it. Come on.